<laughs> did it. So it's not tomorrow. We're actually continuing this about a week and a half later. One big reason being the construction in here is not entirely over. I decided to add one more thing to it, which turned into a big, like, huge ordeal. Uh, we're working on that. It's almost done. And I know I said this week was supposed to be a reveal tour kind of thing of everything that's happened, so that's gonna be on hold until that's done. So next week, maybe the one after? I don't know. But I did get to go at this stuff once during that downtime. Now the downtime because of that construction sucks obviously, but I'm almost thankful for it because I got to sit back and reflect on a few things. That first day, like everything that could have went wrong, went wrong and that's solely on me because obviously I went in overconfident, I said that already, and I bit off just way more than I could chew trying to tackle every step of the process, first crack on the first day, and like, that was just a stupid mistake on my part. By the end of it, I was just covered in ink and tired and exhausted and just fully defeated. Like, at the end of that first day when I sat down on the couch, I was just like, well, what did I get myself into? Like, uh, do I wanna do this? So after I took a few days to kind of just sit back and lick my ego's wounds, <laughs> I, uh, I was able to kind of come to a realization that I need to come at this in a totally different way. So the new game plan was to tackle each step of the process one at a time and figure out what mistakes I was making in that part and make the necessary improvements to perfect what I was doing and then move on to the next step and do the same thing over again and again and again until I had a finished print. So the first part of the process that was causing me probably the most stress and the most problems is the darkroom process. So. I went back, I figured out a few new things. The first thing I improved was I drastically improved the lighting in my dark room. So it went from being a super dull, can't really see what I'm doing situation to a fully lit up, awesome setup. So that was a big help in itself. The second thing was all the problems that I was having with the emulsion and the washout and stuff. So I went back, I switched out the emulsion. Um, that was a drastic improvement with the new stuff that I got, but I was still having some issues. So I sat there for like a whole day and figured out you know, all kinds of different temperature and time combinations and, you know, humidity levels in the dark room and all kinds of different stuff. And actually ended up finding out there was a little bit of an issue with my exposure unit in the end of it. So after I fixed that and did all these other little changes, um, everything's working awesome now. So every step of the process throughout there has been changed completely. And we got great screens coming out of there now. So that's no longer an issue. And then after that was all figured out, I actually did do a small print run. I printed about 20 shirts or so and managed to get them to turn out pretty good. We stuck to single color just because, you know, I, I didn't want to take on too much at once. We stuck to a single white color print on a black and a red shirt. Worked out awesome. Um, it's still needs some improvement, but I mean, it's as good or a little bit better than some of the shops that I've paid to do my screen printing. So, I mean, that alone made me feel awesome, but it's definitely, needs a few more improvements and I definitely know it can be on the level of some of the guys I've seen with manual presses putting out absolutely amazing work. So today we're gonna mess around with a few different things, you know, squeegee pressure and you know, the time you push it and the off contact and so on, you know, all those little factors vary into what your final print is gonna look like. So today we're gonna mess with that, but now we know we can actually push a print onto a shirt and it's gonna come out and not be piece of crap. The one thing that I didn't mess with was the two color thing, because obviously, like I said, I just didn't want to take on too much. So today we're actually going to attempt to do the two color registration thing. I think I've figured out what I was doing wrong there. And you know, I was just stressed out by the end of it trying to do that. And that was just a recipe for disaster. I had people coming in and out of here and bothering me. So I just couldn't concentrate. So today I think it's going to go a lot better. I'm definitely am a lot more prepared for this. So we're going to try and tackle the two color stuff today. Uh, I have a good feeling that that's going to turn out okay. And we've got everything else in the process as far as curing time and everything else is all dialed now. So I mean, we're almost there. Anyways, you've heard me flap my stupid mouth for long enough. So let's get some test shirts on here and try this. talking about. Last time I was pushing way too hard on the squeegee and I was kind of driving the ink into the fabric instead of laying it on top semi into it. So this time I went a hell of a lot lighter and everything looks 
Fantastic. I know it's not cured yet, obviously, but we don't want to take this thing off because obviously we still have the registration marks exposed on both because we want to line up the second color now. I mainly just wanted to test that out real quick to see if uh, I improved on my white print, and I definitely did. I can say that happened on the first try, but definitely going to experiment throughout this little print run here on how much pressure I'm going to put on stuff. We'll, we'll test that out as we go, but this much better already. Yes! shut the camera off for a little bit to figure out the whole registration thing because I have been having problems like crazy trying to get these two colors to match up right. I even went to the extent of setting up another screen which works but I added a lot of stroke to it to kind of overlap the thing and it's actually way too much. It's very noticeable so that one's out. We're back to the original one which has barely any stroke but it has been extremely difficult to line up, but I think I solved the problem. I think my shirts were actually shrinking under the flash and making the underbase a little smaller than the overprint. So, I don't know. We're just gonna go ahead and print a shirt and hopefully it works. Just thought that maybe my adhesive on here is not strong enough and that's what's letting the shirt shrink or maybe it's even moving. I'm gonna stick this up a little better. All right, here goes nothing. White's looking good. Not too damn bad. It looks pretty good. I can see I messed up one little spot here with the white. Otherwise, I think we're pretty good. Let's start making some. <laughs> did it. Fucking did it. Super stoked. He's actually turned out pretty good for a first time. Not too bad. I'm gonna give him like seven and a half, maybe an eight out of 10. I'm pretty critical, so that might be a 10 on most people's scales, but for me, it's not good enough. Honestly, this is way better than any print I've ever paid for, but still, I need a better. Well, actually, you know what? I might be able to turn this into a 10. I got an idea. This right here is how we're gonna possibly turn it into a 10. You can heat press these things after you're done and it'll actually like mat down all the fibers, it'll, it'll smooth everything out, actually give it a little bit of a glossy finish. Um, yeah, I've never done it, so let's do it and see what happens. Oh, yeah, so if these weren't a 10 before, they definitely are now, because that is glorious. Super smooth, perfect prints. Super pumped right now. This is definitely gonna become a new standard with any 38 Rideco merch, because this is glorious. And as far as offering it as a customer service, well, we will. Yeah, because I mean, this is good. So it's gonna be a lot of work for only a couple shirts, but I'm doing it anyways because I can. We gotta do an ink change in all these, well, these two screens because I wanna print a few more shirts using the actual company colors that I mixed up a week and a half ago. And I've never done this before, so it get messy and I could start swearing. <laughs> Probably went a little overboard with the cleaning, but I've never done this before. So the way my brain usually works, it would tell me, let's go ahead and start printing the other ones right now. You got this, you're dialed. Awesome, yeah. But I'm gonna be smart for once. We're gonna do a test print of this color combination first, just in case. This new profession is a humbling experience, let me tell you. All right, hot damn, that looks good. This is teaching me patience, that's for sure, which is good, because I don't have any. <laughs> They're so good. I'm so pumped on seeing the colors, but we're not done with them yet. We're gonna give these a heat press treatment too. I actually ended up heat pressing all 40 shirts that I printed because it looks so good. All right, let's take a look at what we did. Man, I'm super pumped on how all this came out. Definitely 
practice makes perfect when it comes to this stuff. You can see a huge difference from the stuff that I printed like a week and a half ago to the stuff I printed today. It's like night and day difference, but both of them are incredible looking as far as I'm concerned for being my first try and second. I've paid for a lot of screen prints over the past couple of years and not to toot my own horn or anything, but these are the nicest looking ones I've ever seen. But it took a lot of trial and error and frustration and perseverance to get to the point of having these things sitting in front of me right now. That was not easy. Big props to all the screen printers out there, especially the ones who are self-taught. This is hard. <laughs> but man, I can't wait to get some more practice under my belt because obviously the more practice, this stuff is going to keep getting better and better and better and who knows where I'm going to take this thing. Man, this is teaching me so much stuff, even outside of screen printing, not get all sentimental and stuff, but I'm learning some life lessons right now. <laughs> like I'm learning patience and I'm learning to not get ahead of myself and get overconfident, that's for sure, because clearly we made some mistakes with that at the start of this. But yeah, this is, uh, this is awesome. Now I did say we were going to give some of these things away and I figured out how, so what we're gonna do is try to beef up my Twitter numbers a little bit because they're terrible. No one even really knows I have a Twitter. There's like 700 people on there, maybe. So the first five people that follow me on Twitter here and message me your name, your address, and which one of these you want and what size, I will send one to you, except for the cream and gold logo one in XL because that's mine. And I'm also gonna give one away to my Patreon supporters. You guys will see the post about that. But anyways, I'm gonna go relax and celebrate my triumph because this has been stressing me out for weeks now. This is over, I got it, yes. So as always, make sure you guys check out the links down in the description, follow, subscribe, all that stuff. Check out my other social medias and we'll see you again in the next one. Thank you.